All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brady Labor here for CincinnatiSteam.com. I'm here with Matt Williams, uh, shortstop for the Steam. He represents the University of Cincinnati. Got our first home win of the season and a wild one, my man, against the league champs, man. Just give me your thoughts right now, man. Uh, amazing win. 7-1, uh, I think it was going into the eighth. Uh, just trying to put together some good at-bats. Ended up uh, tying it up in the ninth. Uh, and then uh, did it from there. I mean, went in the tenth with uh, Robert Sunder ran a walk-off. All right, we got Robbie here. We'll get to him next, man. But you kind of set that up, man. Um, what was that? The eighth or ninth inning, man. You hit a big three-run bomb over this wall right here. Yeah. What did you say? That's about 30 feet high over there. <laughs> I mean, it's 285 down there, which is short. But man, you got to get up in the air to get that sucker over there, and you did that, man. Tell me. I pissed that bad. I just wanted to. I struck out and grounded out a few times. I just wanted to. Hit a ball hard, so it just, ha it just happened. All right. Just kind of talk about what was the dugout like, man? You guys, like you said, you're down 7-1, to one, man. It had been easy to just pack it in and move on. You know, what was going on in that dugout to lead up to this comeback? Uh, we were all just kind of chilling in there. Uh, just summer ball, how it is, 7-1. to one. We were just uh, chilling in the dugout. And we didn't really realize what was going on. Um, and then we got in there and we were like, you know what? Let's just go at it. Last any might as well just try to put something together. And uh, we ended up getting some runs, hits, and it happened. I mean, we're only four or five games into the summer, man, but I'm sure things are a little tight right now, man. That was the first home win. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, talk about what a big relief that is, dude. Yeah, it's a great relief. Get a, any win's a great relief. So, I mean, getting the season off uh, starting right with uh, some wins is definitely it's nice. It's a huge year. relief. You know, all right. Uh, defense hasn't been playing, you know, the way it should be, and uh, we all know that. And our pitchers have been battling uh, all season four so far. And uh, to get a win like this means a lot to the, the team right now, uh, especially when we're going through some hard times I mean, like that. Uh, all right, inning. great. You came up with a big hit. I mean, they we got two. The team got two guys on. They intentionally walked a guy in front of you to pitch to you. What's going through your mind while you're watching them four meatballs come up, waiting for you to come up there? Um, you know, no outs. I'm just trying to trying to find a pitch to put in play. Uh, like any before, you know, we had one out, uh, base load, same situation, and a uh, double play was hit. Uh, so just trying to, you know, find a pitch to hit. Hopefully, hit one in the outfield, get a sack fly, maybe the hit. And, uh, right. Worked out well. Of course, as center fielder, he was almost like an extra infielder. I mean, that was a routine fly ball you hit, but since he was so far in, he just kept chasing and chasing and chasing, man, it went over his head. What were you thinking at that time, man? Um, you know, once I put it in the air, uh, I knew, uh, you know, it was an easy sack fly. Um, you know, there was no way he's going to go back on that ball and throw him out at, at home. So, you know, it's just, it's just good. First of all, man, that was a wild one, was it not? It was awesome. You know, uh, and guys kept battling the whole time, and that's the biggest thing. You pack it, it's very easy to pack it in a 7 1 game in the ninth inning, but but, you know, guys kept stringing some hits together, and next thing you know, we put up a 6 5. We had a chance to win it in the night, a little better base running next time, but, but it was awesome to see the guys compete all the way to the end. How's that dugout, man? I mean, you guys, you know, everybody's a little tight right now, obviously. You know, you're expecting a better outcome. I mean, it's first week of the season, but, you know, lost a couple games that you thought you could win, and you're down 7 to 1. What's going on in there, man? It's frustrating because the things that we're struggling with right now are things that we can control. You know, we're not taking care of the ball in the infield, we're not throwing enough strikes, you know. It, and simple things, and we've been really bad base running so far. So it's the simple things that we need to get a lot better at. And it's something that, that they're easy to correct, but it's something that we, we need to start improving on and improving on it soon. Okay, of course, we're early on in the season, so I'm sure you'll be able to do that, man. Let's go to the ninth inning. You know, you strung together a huge rally, and the topper was uh, Matty Williams putting it over that huge fence, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge hit, because anytime there's a home run, that, that swings the momentum so so well in your favor, you know. We got a couple breaks on a, a wild pitch, strike three, and then Chidamo hit the ball, and glorified drag bunt. You know, that's what you need when you're down six. You can't, you're not going to string together ten hard hit balls. You need a walk here, you need a wild pitch, you need an air, you need a ro uh, swing bunt. So, you know, we caught all the breaks in the ninth inning, and we capitalized on them, too. And you caught some breaks there in the tenth inning, also. You know, they, they, uh, you got two guys on. Uh, you had first base open, so obviously they're going to walk the bases loaded. And they brought in the whole outfield. I mean, there were seven infielders, and Robbie Sunderman came through for you. All right, he jumped on the first one. It's great to be aggressive in that situation because you know he's going to try to get ahead. And he crushed it to center, and the kid made a good effort, but he wasn't going to throw him out on a sack fly anyway. So, right. it's a clutch hit. Sure was, and he made a heck of an effort just to get to that ball. Yeah. Let's talk about your starting pitcher, Tyler Coors. You know, he pitched really well, and it looked like he kind of tired there, which happens after a guy hasn't pitched competitively for three, four, five weeks or whatever. Tell me how you liked, uh, you know, what you liked about him. He was dominant. You know, he uh, he threw strikes with all his pitches. He, he located when he wanted to. He put guys away when he was ahead. And honestly, he wasn't even tiring. He got a blister on his finger, and that's why we had to take him out.
out a little bit sooner than we uh, than we wanted, but you know he threw the ball great. And it was great to see. He did that last year for us, and then he had a little bit of an elbow problem. But you know I got all the confidence in the world. That's a competitive kid, and he's going to succeed. All right, that's Billy O'Connor after a big eight to seven win in ten innings. Savor that man, because you know it's baseball. We got to come back here tomorrow and play Xenia, man. But you know, congratulations, man, and we move on to the next one. Thank you.